Welcome back to Blackbird Vapor Tutorials. Today we'll show you how to use, review, and unbox the Smoke T-Priv. Um, this is the Smoke T-Priv kit with the TFV8 Baby Beast. Alrighty, so let's get right into it. And this one is red. It's a cool bright red color. And pull it out of the box. So here is our device. This is a dual battery, uh, 18650 lithium ion battery device. The batteries go right in there. And I believe it goes up to 220 watts. So quite, quite nice. You got the whole side button here. Fits well in your hand. You got some cool lights that I'll show you guys later on. And you got your, your top mounted screen. Your variable wattage buttons here. Looks like a pretty nice solid device. Let's see what else comes with it. So we have some instructions, looks like a warranty card, um, little thing to keep it dry in there, looks like it comes with some seals, an extra coil, um, charging cable, some vape bands to protect your glass, and of course the TFV8, if we can get it out of the box, there we go. So your TF, this is actually the big baby beast, I said baby beast down. So same coil as the Baby Beast, just uh, more juice capacity. So that's the uh, red um, DFDA Big Baby Beast. Comes with that as well. Comes with an extra glass for the tank, which is nice. As, as we all know, we do drop them and they do break. So have that in there and all this good stuff. Let's move that over to the side for now. Alright, so we'll go ahead and plop some batteries in here. So like I said, we're using the um, Samsung 18650 lithium ion batteries, 3000 milliamps. Um, down there you have the positive and negative, I'm not sure if you can see in there, but positive and negative, it tells you where to, how, to, how to put your batteries in. Positive and negative, and this is just that latching system that's pretty common on the uh, smoke devices. Close it down, slide it in, slide it out, it pops up. Um, once again, this device is going to be five clicks on and off. Like I said, that's pretty um, standard across the board. So, click it five times, it's booting up. Um, and this top screen is really nice. As you're hitting it, you, you know, you can see what's going on. It's got a, um, a puff timer and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Um, so this device, no atomizer on there, so it's blinking, or no uh, tank on there, so it's blinking red. But um, I'll go ahead and walk you guys through the settings really quick. Um, as you power it up, it should be in wattage mode. You have your uh, battery levels there, along with a, a puff timer, um, your own voltage. So I believe it's going to be three clicks to get into your settings. So, yep, so I clicked it three times. It's going to bring you into your settings. Um, there's mode, mode, uh, a puff counter, color, and then another settings menu. And then uh, you also have to go into your settings menu to um, power it off. You can lock it with just pressing the button five times, but to actually power the device down, you have to go into your settings menu and go to um, power. One, two, three. Um, so I'll run you through the modes. There's wattage mode and temperature control mode. Um, so it offers both. And then you can do strength. Um, you can do, um, and you go through and choose your coil and all that good stuff. But the strength, you can do soft, normal, or hard. Looks as nice. It gives you, not exactly sure how that works, but it gives you the options. Um, the one, two, three, back into your settings, went through the modes, um, the puff counter. So you can set it, say you set it to 200 puffs. Um, once you reach 200 puffs, it, will, it won't it will fire anymore until you go in and cancel that out. Um, that would be good for if you want to like, you know, um, pace yourself. Like say you only want to take 200 puffs per day. You could set that and, and it'll limit you. Um, back into our settings mode puff um, color so color is kind of cool it's got all these lights going all the way around it through the things um, change through the colors we got so we have um, red green blue yellow magenta cyan white RGB and rainbow and we'll go ahead and set it to rainbow and then we have two different styles we have fade and jump so that's the jump that is the fade pretty cool um, and also in, in the in the menu screen um, to, to select anything you guess you get to the like 
Um, say you want it to be on fade, so I'll show you. So you go back to color, rainbow, fade. So once you have it selected, you have to hold down the firing button to select it. And then it'll ask you, vaping on, off, screen on, always on. We'll put it on, um, vaping on. So to select that, I have to hold down the fire button to select it. So now it's set. Um, the only reason it's flashing red because I don't have a tank on there. Anyways, so um, that was color. Got, uh, and then the settings menu, that's going to be for like stealth mode, which I, I don't use personally. I don't know if anybody uses it, but stealth mode is like um, you can hit it without the screen coming on. Um, also in the settings mode, um, contrast, so you can change the brightness and contrast of the LED screen here. You can also, let's see, you can also um, contrast, screen rotate, so you can flip the screen around wherever you want it, and then it's got a download, so Smock will actually offer updates for these things, and you can plug them into your computer and update them. Um, Sometimes like an update will allow you to go higher in watts or change something or fix a bug or something like that. So that's cool that they give you that option. Uh, the micro USB port is right here. Um, let's see. And then also in your settings menu, you also have power. So to power off, you go to power, um, choose off. And it'll completely uh, power down. It says goodbye. And now it is completely off. We'll go ahead and click it five, five times, turn it on. I'll reboot and then um, yeah so that's pretty much through all the settings in the device and then um, we'll go ahead and show you guys how to set up the tank that comes with it like I said this is a TFB8 uh, big baby beast and it comes with it actually comes with two coils um, let's see what is the coil in here coil in here is going to be the what is that Q2 so that is best uh, 55 to 65 watts. So it comes along a Q2, which is just one big hole down the middle there. And then it also comes with a, what is this one? It also comes with a T8, so which is eight coils, um, four stacked stack on, on top of four. And this coil will allow you to go uh, best 60, 60 to 80 watts, yeah. So that's the other coil, that is the T8 coil. Um, so this is a, a display unit that we probably will end up selling, so I'm not gonna uh, set this up at all. I am, so I already have the same exact, well not the same exact, this is the uh, regular Baby, Be Baby Beast, uh, same coil and everything. I guess I already have this, this one set up, there's no sense of getting this one dirty. So we can just go ahead, this works the exact same as the tank that comes with it. And just go ahead and throw this on the device so your tank's just going to screw in there um, all right so for this tank to prime the coil you're going to take off this bottom base here and um, so this brand new coil if there's no juice on it or anything and what you're going to do is you're going to get your juice and you're going to put two dots on each cotton slit there all the way around so there's four slits two dots per slit and then you go around the center here do a couple circles in there with the juice don't over prime it but you want to make sure that cotton gets saturated um, so for those of you who don't know um, in inside the coil here you have a metal wire wrapped up as in a coil shape and it's surrounded by cotton um, that cotton sucks up your juice and that the battery heats up your coil and burns off the juice so you never ever want to have dry cotton um, if the cotton is dry, that coil will just burn the cotton and you'll get a really, really bad taste and, and it's disgusting. So um, you always want to make sure your coil is, is fully saturated. Um, and then the, the tank that comes with it along with this, this tank here, um, it's top fill tank. So you have, I guess, your pivot top there and um, you just fill it up in that little slit there. You never want to put it down the middle because it will just come straight out the, the air holes there. So, yep, that's how you um, prime the coil. So what I would do if I, if I was using this tank is I would put juice in each slot, go around the middle a little bit, just screw it back in, and then, you know, fill it from the top, put it, put it on the battery, uh, put my juice in there, fill up the tank, close it, 
Uh, pull out a couple of times without firing it or anything to suck some of that new juice through, that cotton. Uh, a good rule of thumb for that is when you can taste the juice through the air, it is fully primed and you are good to go. Um, so, since this tank is already set up and everything, I'll go ahead and show you guys how this works. All I'm doing here is putting it back in the wattage mode. Um, and then, like I said, you can change your strength, soft, normal, or hard. Um, I'll leave it at normal. And I'm going to want to run this tank at about 50 watts. And um, so how you determine that is, is what coil you have in your tank. So Smoke, or Smoke offers multiple different coils for this device and this tank. Um, it just depends on personal preference and what you want. So I have it on 50 watts. Um, I have my, um, this is the M2 coil in there. 50 watts and I have the settings in wattage mode um, and light on when when vaping. Let's go ahead and show you guys how this works. And my airflow is all the way open. And this boat is um, very customizable. It, we offer it in uh, multiple different colors. We have white, black, yellow, green, uh, multiple different colors. Offers a really nice button, just gets squeeze the whole, the whole side. Um, it is a little bulky, but it's very durable and it fits in your hand very nice. Um, and it vapes very well. And Smoke also offers a um, six month warranty for this product. So that's another plus. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching uh, another Blackbeard Vapor tutorial. Um, you can visit us at blackbeardvapor.com and we will see you guys next video.